Greetings, loved ones. Let's take a journey. I know a place where the grass is really green. Warm when Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create this look. It's a nice leopard print color over Steady As She Rose by OPI. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is get Steady As She Rose on your nails. And then step two, we're going to make our gradient. For this, you're going to use Deep Purple by Sally Hansen Hard As Nails. Put some of that on your piece of paper so you can dab it. Grab your piece of sponge. I've already used this one on the rest of my nails, but it'll work. Um, cut up a piece, or you can buy the makeup sponges, as I've said before. That'll work just fine. So, take your sponge, dab it in your polish, dab off the excess, and then just lightly go over the tip of your nail. And you want to do this at an angle because the leopard print is only going to be going to the side and I like to do them opposite it's just a better look on the nails and if you think that's too intense which I kinda think it is right now you can kind of go over it with the dry part of your sponge you can kind of rub at it, it just kind of lightens it a little bit but we will be going over it with a lighter color alright so time to make the next color alright so the color I like to use for this is kind of a it's half and half. Basically, you make it with your dark purple, deep purple, excuse me, and then white on with Sal by Sally Hansen or whatever white nail polish you want. Do half and half, stir together, and you get a nice kind of grayish purple shade there. Let's take your sponge, do the same exact thing, dip it in, dab off the excess, and go ahead and go over that dark purple that you made on the tip like so, still at an angle, and then once you feel like you've got it enough, you can go over it with your clear nail polish. I think that's about it. With this, you really don't need to let it dry because it actually blends it a little better if you go over it while it's still kind of wet. Be careful and make sure you don't make it all streaky, um, but because we didn't mix this color, the Steady As She Rose, for your gradient, I'm kind of frugal, this stuff's expensive, so I didn't just go over it with wet with a, a clear nail polish and then it'll blend it together a little bit. Alright, so as you may have noticed, your gradient's not really that seamless, so that doesn't really matter in this manicure because we're going to fix it with the most fun part of the entire thing, which is making your leopard print. So I don't have um, Stripe Right or anything any type of black nail art polish, so I'm just using Rimmel um, Lasting Finish Pro in black satin, yeah, black satin. Just put some of that on your paper, and then you can actually get an old writing pen, as you can see I have right over here, preferably one that doesn't write anymore, um, and just kind of take the tip, dab it in, and then you can, let's see <laughs> if I can actually do this. Just go ahead, you can kind of use your other nails as a guide, assuming you've you've done your other hand already. Or you can use my nails, I guess I should say, as a guide. And just kind of dab it on, usually in dots of three, sometimes two, you'll see what I mean as I'm doing this. You can kind of look at pictures of leopard print while you're doing this so you can get an idea of what it is you need to do but you can see there's one of my groups of three Let's see if I can focus that a little better there we go there's one of my groups of three using my other nails just kind of get another one in there. They 
don't have to be perfect. Perfection's a little bit hard when it comes to doing something on such a small little amount of space. And so I'm going to do a group of two dots, or rather lines, I guess, over here. And then you can just kind of throw in random dots in between, but I'm going to go ahead and keep doing my regular leopard print. And your polish might dry up. It seems like this Rimmel polish dries pretty quick, which would normally be good, but in these circumstances, not so much. Yeah, it's drying up on me. Well, maybe not. Like so. Make sure you don't get any strings. Kind of have to clean off the pen periodically because the polish will dry on it and kind of glob it up a bit. And then you can see doing your leopard print. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and then I will tell you what to do next. Alright, so once your nail polish is dry, you want to grab some Revlon Grape Icy Nail Polish. It's actually scented. It smells really good, like candy. You want to put some of this on your piece of paper or whatever it is you're using as your kind of palette here. You don't have to put a whole lot, just a little bit. And then you want to grab the bobby pin that you've mangled. It's for the sake of art. You want to take just the end of it, dab that in, and then all the little holes where you've put like your three or your two lines, you want to just go right in there. And if it's too thin, you can always go back later and dab a little more. It's okay if you go over the black. I think I'm going to wipe off the edge of mine. Just go right in between. Focus this more. Like that. Fill in the entire space. In all the places that you want it. So like mine is a little thin in some places. You may have to go back and clean up around your cuticles if you did them kind of close, but that's okay. And there you have your leopard print fingernails. Just cover it up with a top coat when you're done, when it's nice and dry, and you're done. Enjoy!